Hi there! In this video you will see how I set up a hydroponic system using the deep water culture method or DWC for short. This is easy to set up and trust me if I can do it so can you. Okay to start you will need a container to hold the water. I'm going to use these five gallon totes from Hefty. You can find them at Home Depot or buy five gallon buckets. You can use any container that is rated as food safe. Just please make sure that it is rated as food safe. See this recycle number on the tote? This is the number five, which means the plastic used in this container is made out of polypropylene. It is not as heat tolerant as number two, which is high density polypropylene. But since I'm growing indoors, this will not be exposed to high heat and therefore it is generally considered safe to grow in. If you're growing outdoors or in a hot environment, then look for the numbers two or four, which is safer due to their high tolerance of heat. In general, the numbers one, two, four, and five are considered food safe plastics. Next, you will need something to hold the plants in. I use these three inch neck cups. I will leave links to all the items I use in the description box below this video. And next you will need to drill holes in the lid of the container for the neck cups to fit into. I have a three inch hole saw drill bit here. If you choose a container with a thinner lid cover, you might be able to cut out the hole using a knife. But this lid is a little too thick to cut with a knife and a hole saw does the job with much less effort. The hole saw says three inches on it. This gives me the perfect hole for a three inch neck cup. It actually wasn't so easy for me this time using the hole saw. I think the battery on the drill was not fully charged because I was having a hard time getting the drill to punch through the plastic. I had to reverse the drill backward and forward a couple of times and then the battery died on me. I left the drill plugged in for the battery to recharge and then I was able to finish up the remaining holes more easily. Here you can see I set up two totes with neck cups in them. I'm setting this up for an experiment to compare a deep water culture hydroponic system with a Kratky system. The difference is with a deep water culture system, also known as DWC, you use an air pump to make sure the roots of the plant have a good supply of oxygen. In the Kratky method, you don't use a pump. You just make sure to leave a gap between the plant and the water so that there is air in between the two. I will be planting the same plants in both totes and then monitoring them to see which one is better than the other. But that's for another video. So back to setting up this deep water culture system. You will need an air pump. I got this on Amazon for around $15. This is good for up to 80 gallons of water and has two outlets so you can run tubing to two systems if you want to. This comes with everything you need, the pump, the air stones, and the tubing. So now you will need to make one more hole in the tote and that's to run the tubing from the air pump down into the water. I actually made two holes just in case I wanted to run both air stones into the tank. Now we're ready to add the water. But the water is not just plain water. We need to mix up some nutrients to add to that water. I like using the master blend formula for fruiting plants and since I'll be growing peppers and peas in these totes, the master blend is the way to go. It's a three part formula that needs to be weighed out. 2.4 grams of master blend, 1.2 grams of Epsom salt, and 2.4 grams of calcium nitrate per gallon of water. If you can use warm water, the nutrients will dissolve better in warm water. You will need a food scale to measure this out correctly. I usually mix up one gallon at a time using old milk containers. It's easy for me to carry a gallon at a time than five gallons of water. Once you have the nutrients mixed into the water, you'll need to test the pH and adjust it either up or down. Try to get your water in the 5.5 to 6.5 range. I find 6.0 is a sweet spot for me. Now it's time to connect the pump. Thread the tubing through the hole or holes that you made and attach an air stone. 
Make sure to place the pump above the water level. Here you can see I have it set on a shelf above the tote. Then plug in the pump. And we have a nice flow of air, as you can see from all the bubbles. And now here you can see it's set up with some plants. In the back right is a pepper plant, and on the left in the back is a pea plant that is not doing too well. So I'm not sure it will survive. I started these pepper and pea plants a couple of weeks ago by planting them in rock wool. Once the seedlings were ready for transplanting, I put the young plants with the rock wool into 3-inch net cups and filled in the empty space around the net cups with hydroponic clay pebbles. The clay pebbles help to keep the rock wool from moving around and they also block the light from hitting the water under the plants. Light is good for the plants but not for the water. We don't want to encourage algae to grow. So block the light out any way you want. I use clay pebbles. I put another pepper and another pea plant into the tote. They are sitting in the lid of the tote in the holes that I made and they are in net cups filled with hydroponic clay pebbles. Now it's a week later and the back left pea plant really isn't doing too well. I will probably replace it with another plant. In addition to the water and oxygen in the tote, the plants will also need light to survive and thrive. The light should be as close to the plants as possible without burning them. These are a little too far away. I will need to put something under the reservoir to lift up the plants closer to the light. We want the plants to grow short and stout rather than tall and leggy. The closer the plants are to the light source, the better. The lights I have here above the plants are 6500 Kelvin color temperature. I also have an LED light on the side that is a full spectrum light. The 6500 Kelvin light is a blue light simulating the daylight. My grow area gets natural sunlight from a skylight and a bay window. If you're growing in a basement or garage, then your lighting needs will be more demanding than mine. And now it's two weeks later and the pepper plants are doing really nicely. The roots look nice and there is even a pod on one of these pea plants. Although the plant does not look great, I will have to keep an eye on it. So there you have it, a simple do-it-yourself hydroponic setup using a deep water culture system. This system is better than the Kratky method for fruiting plants, such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. I hope you'll try this system out and adjust it for your own unique growing environment. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try setting up your own system. These are the basics, now it's your turn to experiment, tweak it, and grow something you can eat. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more and thank you for watching. Bye!